Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mel. I'm a fashion blogger who is from Massachusetts. I post a ton of thrifted content, just general things about fashion style, just things that I like and personally find fun, colorful, funky, all the good stuff. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure you subscribe because we post new videos here every single week and I have a lot of fun doing it. So today we are going to be going thrifting. I was with my fiance and we stopped by a thrift store that was kind of near his mom's house and we decided to go in and normally we usually skip right past this thrift store because I never find any good things at it but today I did. I'm actually shooting this from the future so like I've already gone thrifting at this point and I already know what it is that I got and I'm already excited to show it to you so without further ado keep watching because we are about to go thrifting. Walking into the thrift store, this one's kind of far from my house, so I usually don't go too often. It's cool because right when you walk in, there are a lot of accessories, lots of bracelets and necklaces. You can see these rubber band bracelets that everybody used to wear a couple years ago. I can't believe they're selling them for $3. But it's a cool place to check out if you're looking for accessories, sunglasses, even little keychains. I love this little flamingo. I wish it wasn't a graduation theme. I would have bought it otherwise. As you can see, we spent a lot of time in the home goods section. There were a lot of random assorted items like these hats. A lot of great craft supplies too, so if you're into knitting or crocheting, I definitely recommend checking the thrift store first before going to buy something new. I thought this sign was funny, it had some really cool googly eyes, I think it was handmade, and stay tuned to the end to see if we end up buying this because it was a really good deal. Now off to the clothes because I know that is what most people are here to see. First we looked at the skirts. There were a lot of really good options but nothing unfortunately that was in my size. I wear a lot of skirts and dresses in the summer so here I'm looking for anything that has a really fun floral pattern or just generally bright colors as I always do. Just something I can wear all season long. It was still kind of cold out when I filmed this so here I'm looking for anything that would be warm for the current season. I love anything that's like a quilted jacket. I really like that camo print but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Now off to the dresses which is my favorite thing to thrift. This particular thrift store had racks and racks that were absolutely packed with different dresses. It was really hard to film and look at the same time so I'm just randomly pulling out things that are catching my eye here. Really anything like I said that has a bright color like this rainbow dress that I absolutely loved. I just thought the price was a little bit too steep. I also love this denim overall dress but same thing a little bit too expensive for what I was willing to pay at the time. This thrift store had so many great dress options. I probably could have spent an hour just looking at the dresses alone but I really didn't have a lot of time to spend in the store today so I did have to speed it up at this point. Now off to the shoe section. I found a lot of really cool moccasins and flats like this Tory Burch pair of flats that had a really fun embroidered pattern on them. The pair itself was mismatched but I did find both of them. Unfortunately they were just a little bit too beat up for what I was looking to buy. This thrift store separates the boots from everything else so I went over to scan for some Doc Martens and found a pair of these floral boots that I actually already own. Now off to the tops. This thrift store has so many tops and they're all very well organized. I'm in the crew neck section now. I was looking at that floral sweater I kept going back to it because I really did want to buy it but not for ten dollars but here I am scanning through some blouses just floral tops is what I'm looking for generally I thought this one was really cute but very similar to one that I already had I'm seeing crochet everywhere this season I really like the color of this top and the style overall some people might not feel this way but I personally am a huge fan of leopard print. I have so many leopard print pieces. I never stopped wearing it, whether it was in or out of style. I thought this shirt was so cool. I didn't get it because I didn't know what the thing on the collar meant. And this top reminded me of something that would be in a museum. Such a cool piece. It looked like a piece of art overall and it was only $3.49. I considered getting that Orlando sweatshirt. It was vintage. I've been to Orlando a few times for work, but I decided to pass on it because it's not really a place that I've ever personally gone to for for like vacation or anything. And last up is the jewelry case. They had such a big selection here. So many pretty earrings, rings. I didn't spend too much time looking at everything. I probably could have spent another hour here too. I personally wear a lot of rings and necklaces. The thrift store is always my first place to look for those types of things. You can get it really cheap. Okay, we are back. Did you think that was, do you think that was fun? Did you, did you guess what I was gonna be getting? Because I know it's hard to tell from the footage. I got one thing. And this is what I got. Ready? It is. Oh, it's heavy. I got a Bissell green machine, like the pet with like the steamer kind, which 
if you all know, I do have a pet and it's a dog and his name is Winston. And not like he doesn't make like a ton of mess. Like it's just like we have things in our house that I would really love to like shampoo and steam clean. And when I saw this, I was so excited because I've been wanting one of these. I was gonna put some, I was gonna put one on my wedding registry, but I prefer like to buy secondhand if possible. Now, it was kind of nasty and dirty when we found it in the thrift store. So I have since cleaned it up. I also got new attachments for it just so I can feel like a little bit better about using it in my own home because I didn't know where it was. So I got like a new like head thing for it. And I also got like a new um, like hose for it. So I bought these little pieces on Amazon. They were only like $5 each, which I felt like was a really good deal. So this thing here goes for like $100 new. And the fact that I could buy the second hand, amazing. The best part is, is that it works. I tried it when I got home after I cleaned it all up and I did clean my couch with it, the one that I'm sitting on. So, hey, that's awesome. I will use this on my furniture probably like once a month moving forward. I don't know if that's too much just because it's like shampoo, but yeah, it's really cool. I bought, I bought like the Bissell solution for it. So you just kind of like fill it up with water here. No, yes, you fill it up with water here and then you put like the cleaning solution in it and then this will like heat up because it's the pet version and it'll like you like spritz it like with this button and you just like shampoo it on and then it vacuums it up and then all the nasty dirty water goes in like, this bin right here which this is already wet because i just used it and then you just dump it out i'm really glad that this is going to be like a new staple in our household because i feel bad that i didn't purchase any clothes to show you because i know this is like more of like a fashion-based channel i put together a few things that i bought online because i do a lot of online thrift shopping and things that i'm really excited to show you first and foremost is this dress from zara it is a really fun like floral pattern it has a mock neck that's kind of ruffled and it has these like short sleeves that kind of like billow out almost so it's kind of like a really like dramatic type of sleeve it's like a very like shapeless dress but i'll post a video like with it on and I, I just like really like it i feel like this can be worn for like multiple things whether it be like me going to work more casually or just kind of wearing it like out and about i like to i like to buy things that i can wear to work and then also like in my personal life and not have to have almost like two different wardrobes depending on if i'm at work or not second is another dress from zara and this was from thread up as well as that if i didn't mention it before but this is just like a really fun like checkered dress it's like a tank tank kind of dress and it has like these like pink it's like a pink piping around it and it just moves onto the back it's kind of simple but i just feel like for me I don't really like to wear like plain dresses and I really like the pattern of this. I know like checkered stuff and like the swirl patterns had their moment a couple years ago, but personally I think this is something I will wear that doesn't look trendy to me and I'm really excited for it. It's like one of those things that like for me and my wardrobe, that pattern just kind of stuck around and I don't really have any intentions of getting rid of it anytime soon. So love this. Third, third thing that I got. this. It's a Forever 21, or sorry, it's a Free People. This isn't Forever 21, this is Free People skirt. And it is just like the prettiest, sparkliest little skirt that anyone has ever seen. It's like very like fun and slinky, and it has like a really good like lining in it. So if I wore this with like tights or something, it's not gonna be like super scratchy or anything like that. I would wear this probably like over like well, just like as a skirt, but like with like a big like sweatshirt over it, I feel like it'd be really fun to kind of almost try to like dress this down because this is such a like statement piece that I would almost like want to dress it down, wear it with like socks and like loafers. I feel like that could be like a really fun look. So I don't really have that long to wear this. I feel like sparkles are very like fall winter type fashion for me. I don't really wear a lot of it in like the spring summer, but I'll still style this to show you like what I'd be thinking of with an outfit like that. This dress, I was so happy when I finally got this. So I had this in my cart on Thread Up. I completely forgot that I added this to my cart and I never purchased it. And I let it go and someone else bought it. And I was so sad because someone else bought it. It was like right before bed, I'd like added it. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, oh no. A couple weeks later, I saw it listed again. Someone returned it. 
And now it's mine again. It's this Farm Rio dress. It's like this really pretty fuchsia color. It has leopards all over it. And it's just like a really fun like tiered mini dress. Like it's it's so pretty. Like the quality is so good. It's 100% cotton I believe. And on the sleeves it just has these really fun like like shiny buttons. It's kind of hard to tell like I don't know if you can see. But yeah, just like the best, prettiest dress ever. I feel like I've never done a video without talking about Fred Perry, and this is no exception. Fred Perry, if you're new here, is one of my favorite brands of clothing. It's kind of like a tennis brand. I don't play tennis. It's just like a tennis wear type of clothing. That's like what it originally was made for, but now it's kind of been taken over by um, almost like the punk community, and um, I, just, I just simply love it. It's like a really pretty knit, so this is like their logo, it's the laurel wreath that they have here. And it has like a collar and like the, the double twin stripe here. And this is part of their like sport wear collection. It's just like a black and white like knit. I don't even know what kind of knit this is, but it's like very comfortable. Very excited to wear it. It's almost like a short sleeve sweater in my mind. And I think I can wear this with like a lot of good stuff. So that is amazing. I'm really happy that I found that. So this is dress from Foo People. It's a like drop waist dress and it has these like, I guess like embroidered like sunflowers all over it. I just think this is the prettiest darn thing. I don't really wear a lot of sleeveless stuff, but I figure how I would plan to wear this at least for the spring would be with like a mock neck collar with like long sleeves and just kind of wear it like layered with like loafers or something like that. I just feel like that would be like a really pretty look. So really cool, fun, pretty dress and yeah, I needed this. Oh, next, we'll go to this. This is a sweatshirt that I purchased from Worthy Girl in Beverly, which is a consignment shop that I used to work at, actually. I used to do all the inventory there, but they have um, live sales, and they also have, like, online stories, like, on their Instagram, and they posted this on their Instagram stories, and I needed it. I scooped it up immediately. It is Friendly's, which is a restaurant, if you are familiar with like the northeast area just like a casual dining experience like they i don't know think like applebee's and more like sandwiches but then on top of that they're very known for like their ice cream unfortunately like all of them are closing not all of them like at the same time like one by one they're slowly closing over the course of time which is really sad there is one near me that is still open and my fiance and i do go there quite often because the food is really good really good up next from that same consignment store is this, I don't remember how much I paid for this. No, I didn't leave the tag on it. Um, anyway, this shirt is really pretty. It's from, it's from Zara and it's like a tapestry floral material. Like the sleeves have this like fun like fringe on it. It's really hard to see. And I like it because one, it's floral and it's tapestry, which are like I don't know, two things for me that I love. I just love tapestry type material, especially when it's in clothing. But it's like this on the front, but it's kind of like different on the back. It's almost like inverted. And I just think that's a really fun detail. Only thing about it that I don't like is that it has these like patches on it in the front. So it has like a bird, this like crest, and then like this almost like avi aviation like triangle. I don't know. I'm just going to seam rip those off because I don't want the patches there and it doesn't look like it'll leave a hole in it if I do rip it off. So stay tuned, maybe that'll be like a craft project that I post on here. Okay, this might be my favorite thing of the whole entire haul that I'm showing you right now. So, oh my goodness. It is a, it's an L.L. Bean sweater and it has the bean boot on it. And I just think that's so cool. My sister actually found this. So she was on ThreadUp and she texted me. She was like, look, look at this. Do you want it? Like, I'm not gonna get it. And so she put it in her cart and then we were like, three, two, one. And then she removed it and I added it to mine. This is the L.L. Bean Todd Snyder collaboration. I just think it's so cool that they put the bean boot on a sweater. I wore this, I got so many compliments on it. I live in New England, I live in Massachusetts, so uh, people around here wear a lot of L.O. Bean because the flagship store is in Maine and there are just like a lot of L.O. Bean stores around here and a lot of like outdoorsy type of people. So um, yeah, this was just really fun. I actually wore it with my bean boots. So it was like bean boot on bean boot kind of situation. My camera just cut me off because I was talking too much. 
surprise, surprise. Do you guys like these longer videos? Like, do you do you like when I talk a lot about the clothes that I get? Because if, if you would prefer like shorter things, if I just like show you the item and like not talk a lot about it, I'm happy to do that as well. I don't want to like bore you people. I'm one of those people that if left to talk without anybody stopping me, I would just go on forever. <laughs> so the last thing that I got is a pair of overalls and they are amazing. It's from the brand Free People. I can't remember if I've posted about these before. I think I posted about these on my Instagram. I don't think that they've made it to a YouTube video before, but I did buy this pair of overalls a couple weeks ago, so if you've seen it before, sorry. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm Mel Gets Dressed on there too. I do post um, probably more like real-time updates when I get packages in, just things that I purchase in the day-to-day, -day, and it's really fun because we like open packages together and we can like look at the stuff that I bought and then eventually it makes its way to a YouTube video like a couple weeks later so yeah Mel gets dressed for all of your like content that I'm making on Instagram and obviously subscribe here if you aren't already because we make videos like this every single week and it's really fun okay anyway back to this like I said it is free people we the free is the brand it is like this brown and like burgundy red so these have like flowers, mountains, what else do we got? Um, no people in this one, but yeah, there's like trees on it. And yeah, I think this is just so fun. I purchased these from ThreadUp and I was actually kind of nervous because um, it was actually a size smaller than what I usually wear. Free people sometimes can be oversized and especially with their overalls, I have had luck like sizing down because I don't prefer overalls to be like super baggy and oversized on me. I like them to actually have like more of like a fitted feel. So these fit me perfectly, which I was really happy about because I haven't found them on there since. And I didn't feel like, you know, going on a hunt on like Poshmark or Mercari to find something similar. And I lied, that was not the last thing. This is the last thing, which these are from Mercari, also free people. And look at these boots, they are amazing. They're platform, they're white, like an off-white color, and they are just like really fun. It's like this faux like patent leather. They have a square toe and like a really like high heel. I'd say this is probably like four inches tall, but it's like a thick heel, so I'm not gonna feel like every step I make that I'm gonna break my ankles. So yeah, that is the last thing I got. And these were not that expensive. I think I only paid about $30 for these. And I do believe that these are brand new because the bottoms show, like, nowhere. Like, I can't really tell if they've been worn or not. Like, maybe once. So, yeah, I just love, um, like, 60s and, like, 70s inspired things. But these, I would say, they're more, like, on the 60s side. Again, that's just, I feel like my style that I gravitate towards is more of, like, that 60s feel. And these definitely fit that bill. So, really excited to wear these. Maybe even like with, like I feel like they would look good with like this dress, but a lot of other things in my closet too. So yeah, but thank you all for watching today. I know that was a lot of things and I carried on way longer than just this uh, little green machine that I purchased. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what your favorite item was. Let me know if you have a green machine as well and if you love it as much as I love mine definitely recommend them for anyone who has pets or not because it worked really well on my couches. My only complaint about it is that it just like, I mean, with anything like this, it, it just left my couch wet for like a day. So uh, maybe if you're like going away for a weekend, like use it then so that it can have the weekend to dry out so you're not just sitting on um, like a, a damp couch. But anyway, thank you all again for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please do I'll put a reminder here, but hit that subscribe button so you can watch new videos every single week when I post them. I try to aim for every week on Sunday, except sometimes I take a little bit longer to edit them because I'm still very new to this and I'm trying to figure out like, you know, my schedule and my groove and like learn how to edit things more efficiently. So yeah, anyway, thank you for watching again and I hope you have a great day.